Thanks so much. The H1N1 flu virus, also known as swine flu, is spreading quickly across Eastern Europe and the Middle East. Ukraine is the worst hit with over 180 people dead. Russia and Iran both have more than 100 fatalities. CCTV's Nathan King has been following the story. He's with us now. Nathan. That's right. World headlines, of course, have been on uh, the Zika virus, but flu can be much more deadly. In Russia's second largest city, people are wearing face masks and supplies of antiviral drugs are selling fast as the H1N1 virus has claimed over 20 lives in St. Petersburg alone. Demand for masks started at the beginning of January. In a big city like this one, everyone is keen to buy a mask. People are quick to buy masks, antiviral drugs and antibiotics. The shelves in the store are almost empty. The virus is spreading. In Russia, more than 100 people have been killed so far. Iran, too, has seen more than 100 deaths. But the worst hit country is Ukraine, with more than 180 deaths and thousands of new cases being diagnosed each day. H1N1, unlike other flu strains, can be equally dangerous for young people as well as the elderly. It can quickly develop into pneumonia. And in war-torn areas of Ukraine, schools have been closed for weeks and medical supplies are low. The supply of medication today, thanks to humanitarian assistance, thanks to the health ministry, is enough in general. The only thing we are short of is antivirus medication, Tamiflu, which is in drugstores today. But unfortunately, we do not have it in the hospital. That's why patients have to buy it themselves. The common flu vaccine does cover H1N1, but less than 1% of Ukraine's 45 million people have been vaccinated. In some areas of the Middle East, vaccines are hard to come by. There may also be other factors at work here, and scientists from the World Health Organization have been dispatched to the hardest hit regions. The WHO is actually working to avoid a repeat of 2009 when a new strain of H1N1 led to a pandemic. US researchers said that outbreak claimed the lives of more than 200. 80,000 people worldwide. So it is a big, big killer. Yeah, the WHO certainly had their hands full. Of course, they had Ebola, now they've got the Zika. How about this? Did this catch them by surprise? Uh, no, they have been working on the ground, but the thing is with, um, with this strain of H1N1, they thought there was a lot of immunity because of the last outbreaks, and they aren't seeing it. So they are a bit worried that it might have mutated or something, so they're mm. looking in on the ground. This is definitely a winter where there are several viruses that the World Health Organization are actually keeping their eye on globally. All right. Thanks so much, Nathan.